This is a lesson on using doubles to multiply. So first off, this right here, the green dots, this is called an array. Okay, so an array shows objects, objects arranged in equal rows. So we have equal rows. Here's one row of three and another row of three. So you can use an array to multiply. It's like a picture form of multiply. To find 2 times 3, make an array of 2 rows of 3. So rows go across. We have 1, 2, 3 here, and 1, 2, 3 here. So 2 rows of 3 counters each. Um, we could write a multiplication fact of 2 times 3, and that equals 6. And 6 I get by adding up all of the dots in my array. Okay, so in a multiplication fact, you can multiply factors to get a product. So this is the language that we use in math when we're multiplying. So factors are the numbers that are being multiplied by each other. So in this right here, it would be 4 and 5 are factors. And then the product is 20. Okay, so factors are um, with the multiplying sign and the product is 20. Okay, so keep this handy if you see that language and you can't remember which is which, that's what this is for. So, um, since this is a, these are factors and this is a product, um, one strategy that we're going to use to multiply in our heads is um, doubling or not necessarily in our heads, but just without using a calculator. So this is our first multiplying strategy. And basically in this unit, you're going to learn a bunch of different strategies for figuring out multiplication um, facts. So um, doubling is a strategy that you can use to multiply. And this is how you would use it. It's best to show as an example. So use doubling to multiply by 4. So we know that half of 4 is 2. Okay, so to find 4 times 9, first we need to find 2 times 9. 2 is half of 4. So we'll find 2 times 9 and then we'll double our answer. Right, because 4 is double 2. Now here is an array. Here's a picture to show you what it might look like um, in picture form. So down here, we've got this array first. So just look at the top array. And this shows two rows, one, two. So that's where we get the two here. And then each one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine counters. So we have our fact right here, 2 times 9, there are our factors, and our product is 18. Because if I counted up all of these counters, I would get the number 18. So this shows 2 times 9 equals 18. Then we want to do this again, because we want to double it, and double means take uh, your answer and then do it the exact same thing again. So we can go down a little further. Here we have the exact same thing because we double. So we have this and then we need it again, the exact same. And that's 2 times 9 equals 18 again. So we take 18 counters from here and 18 counters from here and we add them together. That's like doubling. So 18 plus 18 equals 36. You could also say 18 times 2 equals 36, because that would be doubling 18. But saying 18 plus 18 is the same thing as saying 18 times 2. They mean the same thing. In either case, you're going to get the number 36. Okay, so that's the basics of doubling, is uh, breaking down one of the numbers to make it easier uh, to uh, complete in your head or to draw out and then um, doubling it. Now to extend this um, idea, this strategy, is to use repeated doubling. And you would use repeated doubling when you want to multiply by 8. 
So, for example, what I mean here, I can show you, um, we've got 8 times 8. So, in this case, first, we would think of 2 times 8. Now, we're always going back to 2 because 2 times tables are easy. We just have to double a number, and you should already know most of your 2 times tables based on that knowledge. So, 2 times 8, I already know, is 16. Okay, so this is my first, my first step. Then I'm going to double this number, and then I'll double it again. So I would go 16, in that case I would go 16 uh, times 2, and that equals 32. And then I would double that again, so 32 times 2, and then that would equal 64. So I'm just doubling and doubling, and you're just you're developing strategies to multiply. Now this only works when you have even numbers. Um, it works best when you have a four or an eight in your fact. Whoops. But um, let's look at a, at this pictorially. What it what it might look like with uh, counters and arrays. So first I've got two times eight because I like two times tables. They're easy. So here we've got two rows of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, total number of counters is 16. So I could go 8 plus 8 equals 16, or 2 times 8 equals 16. That's the exact same thing. Okay, then what I want to do is double that. So here is this, first one times 2, and then we're going to double it, double it here. So there's my first double. Now, I have 4 times 8, or I could say 16 here, plus 16 here, and that equals 32. Next, I need to double all of this. So all of this needs to be doubled again, so that's 4 rows. So if we go down here, I've got 4 more rows, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is doubled everything that we've already done. Now we know that everything we've already done is equal to 32. Okay, either we counted or we added 16 plus 16, or we multiplied 4 by 8, whatever works for you. Okay, so then we double it so that we know that up here is 32 and over here is 32. Now remember, this is just up here, it just doesn't fit on the screen all at once. Okay, so 32 up here plus 32 up here, we're doubling 32. 32 plus 32, we've got a 2 here and a 2 here. That equals 4, and then 3 plus 3 is 6, so that's 64. So, 8 times 8 is 64, and that's one way that we could figure that out. We're going to practice that way today. Okay, now, the whole point of this is to just begin with a fact that you know, um, and then double one of the factors and then multiply, right? You're just, you're doing something that you know and applying it to something that you might not know. So what you need to do right now is pause the video and um, you are going to find 4 times 3 and 8 times 6 using doubling. Now you may already know the answers to this if you've memorized your facts, but I need you to show that you've doubled and practiced. Okay, this, is, well, this one's purposely easy so that you can, you can practice and figure it out. So pause now and then we'll go through it. Okay, so let's do this first one together um, here. So we've got 4 times 3. So to use doubling, we take half of 4 and that is 2. So 2 times 3 we're going to do, we'll find that, and 2 times 3 is 6, and then we need to double that, so we would go 6 plus 6, and that equals 12, so 12, or 4 times 3 equals 12, that's how we could show that, we could also draw a picture, we could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's 2 times 3 equals 6, then we can do that again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whoops, that's not a very good array, and then 2 times 3 equals 6, 
then add those two together and that equals 12. Whichever way works for you. Okay, and then over here we have to um, use repeated doubling. So in this case, this 8, we're going to make it into a 2 at first because I know that 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. So 2 times 6 we start out with. And we could draw that as an array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that equals uh, 12. Then we need to double this one right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that equals 12 again. Then we need to double this whole thing. So we're going to double that, 12 plus 12, that equals 24. So if we do this again, and I'm just going to cheat here with my computer. So here we go. So now I have it doubled. When I do the doubling, though, I would forget about this part and just focus on the fact, oh, this isn't 12, sorry. There we go. 12 plus 12 is 24, not 12. There we go. So in this case, I would just say, okay, I know that this many circles is 24. So I write 24 again, and then 24 plus 24, well, that equals 48. So that means that 8 times 6 equals 48. And that's how we can use uh, doubling to figure out how to um, multiply. So here's your assignment. You're going to practice doubling. Um, it's page 84, 85. Numbers 1 to 3 and 5 to 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7.